NASA's reusable shuttle orbiter, part of a new, less expensive space transportation system. A spaceship that will put our country in the Earth orbit freight business. This is Orbiter 101 as it rolled out of the hangar in Palmdale, California. It has been named the Enterprise. It has taken four years to go from the orbiter design stage to the nearly completed spacecraft. These were some of the steps along the way. The next stop is NASA's Dryden Flight Research Center near Lancaster, California. It is here that the Enterprise will be mounted piggyback atop a 747 for approach and landing tests. Everything is nearly ready for the upcoming tests, according to Director of Space Shuttle Operations, Isaac T. Gillum. Yes, the facilities are nearing completion. The 747 is currently being modified at the Boeing plant in Seattle, Washington. We expect them to begin flight testing of uh, this aircraft with its modifications in December and to transport it here to Dryden in January of 1977. These are the astronauts who will be involved in the first test flights of the space shuttle. Joe Engel, Dick Truly, Fred Hayes, and Gordon Fullerton. We asked Gordon Fullerton to describe one of the typical shuttle missions into space that will begin in 1979. A shuttle uh, system that is launched vertically about halfway up, the solids burn out and drop off, and the orbiter continues on into orbit using the thrust from the uh, main liquid engines. The payload bay doors are open once uh, the, the shuttle is on orbit, and the payload inside is, is deployed or operated, depending on the, the type of mission that's to be flown. Once the mission is complete, then, the doors are closed. The, the smaller rocket engines that you see in the upper left and right corners of the aft part of the orbiter are fired to uh, slow the orbiter enough to cause it to re-enter the atmosphere. It makes a uh, nose forward, nose high re-entry, slowing its speed and, until uh, finally it is flying conventionally as an aircraft, however unpowered, and makes a gliding approach and landing to the uh, runway. The reusable space shuttle, a new transportation system with economy its major asset. A transportation system capable of delivering 65,000 pounds of payload into orbit. Drugs, metal alloys, electronic crystals and glass lenses, all can be produced in weightless space far superior to anything made on Earth. Satellites will be manufactured more inexpensively because they can either be repaired in space or returned to Earth. These are but a few of the jobs the space shuttle can do as it works for us in space and flies back to land like an airplane up to 100 times. 